and uh, let's call this as parser and the new bean output parser and let's pass the dot class of this one hello and welcome in this video let's learn about bean output parsers so here i am on the start.spring.io to create a new spring boot project so let's select the project as maven language as java let's have the spring boot version as the default one and for the group let's give it as com dot chandelier artifact could be codes and the name could be uh, parsers for the description demo spring ai project for output parsers let's have the packaging as jar and the java version as 17 now let's add some dependencies so i will be using web dependency because i'll be creating rest controller to showcase the product and then let's add the open ai dependency because i'll be using the open ai keys for the llm so now let's generate the project and once it's downloaded we will extract it out and then open the same in the intellij so i'll see you there in the intellij so now we are in the intellij idea and here is our project structure that has been created so now we need to do a brief project setup and the way to do this is to open the application properties and we need to define this property which is a spring ai open ai not open ai key and here you need to place your api key so uh, if you are not aware of how you can create an api key with open ai then you could check out my previous video which is the first video in this playlist where I have covered the details with respect to how can you create the key with open API and what are the different error messages that you could expect while doing so. So now let's assuming that you have the API key. Now let's proceed with the development for this use case. But before we do so, let's learn a thing or two about the concept of output parsers and why do we need them. So what is output parsing? Let's start with what is the challenge. LLMs always output the Java util string. And even when we ask for a JSON from the chat GPT or any LLM for that matter, what we get is a JSON string. So effectively, the transformation of the JSON string to an object is a burden that we need to handle as the developer. So this is where we need the help of output parsing. And as a Java developer, all we want is to work with objects, but chat GPT wants to chat, right? and so do the other LLMs. So we need to somehow convert these strings to the objects that we need to work with. So here is the solution. The solution is a Spring AI's output parser. So the output parser interface allows you to obtain a structured output, for example, mapping the LLM string output to a Java class or an array of values. You can think of it as very similar to the concept of JDBC row mapper or the result set extractor. It has three implementations. So the first one is bean output parser and it specifies the JSON schema for the Java class in which format we want the response. The LLM JSON output is then converted to the POJO of our choice. And this is the POJO that we will have to define in the code and I'll show you in the code demo section. Now the other implementation is map output parser. So it's effectively uh, similar to the bean output parser, but the JSON response is converted into a map of a string and object. Then we have the list output parser and it's also similar to the bean output parser. The difference is the content is arranged as a comma delimited list. So now we have an overall idea regarding what we are going to study in this video. So let's get going. Let's create a few packages. So first one would be a controller. Then I need to uh, create a package for the Pojo. So let's just start with controller. But even before we start with the creation of the controller class, let me briefly tell you what is the feature that I'm planning to develop for this demo. So the idea is that I will be exposing an API and in that API, I will be providing two path variables. One is category, other is year and using the open AI 
APIs, I will be making a call and the request would be to fetch the Nobel Prize winner for a given category for a given year and some other details with respect to the winner such as what is the name, the year in which the person got the award and what was the award given for and at the same time some of the direct impacts of the activity or the invention for which the award was given. So let's get going. Let's create the controller class. Maybe let's call it as Nobel Prize Winner Controller and uh, let's annotate this as a wrist controller let's have the request mapping so the request mapping could be slash v1 slash api slash nobel now we will have to have a dependency of the open ai chat client so let's provide the dependency for same open ai chat client let's call it as chat client and then we need to inject the dependency via constructor injection let's annotate this with auto wired and now let's think about the api endpoint that we are going to implement so it's going to be a get mapping and uh, first thing could be the category for which the award was given and then we have the year let this endpoint return an object and maybe that could be a Nobel Prize winner. So currently it's not implemented. We will implement it in a while. So let's have the path variable as year string year. The other path variable is category and string category. Now with the method definition in place, we need to start the implementation. So uh, we will be creating the prompt template and then out of that prompt template, I will be creating the message and then I can use that message to create the prompt and then that prompt could be passed to the chat client to get the result and then parse the result. So let's do that. So as we saw in the previous video, wherein uh, I was placing the prompt string in some sort of a string template. Let's follow the same approach. So in order to do so, let's create a directory under the resources folder and let's call that as prompts. Now let's create the file and uh, this one we can call as user Nobel Prize winner dot st, st as in a string template. And in order to save some time, I have already created the prompt string. So here it's the prompt string let me maximize this so what it says is who was the nobel prize winner in the category of category in the year year and what was the prize awarded for as per your training data tell me the top three impacts of this contribution where it is helping humans directly or indirectly don't assume anything have a validation of the category and year if it's not correct reply with an appropriate error message and then we provide the format in which we want the response so what exactly is contained in the format we will see this in much more details. So for now, we have the prompt string sorted out. Let's go back to the controller. And in the controller, the first thing that we want to do is we want to create the prompt template. Maybe call it as prompt template. And with new prompt template, we need to pass the uh, Nobel template. So we need to define the Nobel template now. Let's copy this. So let's create the resource for the string template that we just created. Let's call this as Nobel template. Let's annotate this with value. And this is where we have placed it. So let's provide the same. Now we have the prompt template created with this particular line. So as the next step, what we need to do is we need to create the message. So we will call from template dot create message and we need to pass the map of category followed by category, then year followed by year. And then let's assign this to the message. And once we have the message, then we can create the prompt so new prompt we can pass the list of messages 
which in our case is just a single message. So till now, what all we have done? So we have created the prompt template. We have extracted the message from that prompt template by replacing the value for category and year. And then we have created the prompt out of the message that we have. And now using this prompt, we can call the chat client. But there is one thing which is missing as of now, which is the actual parser part. So let's have that as well. I will be using the bean output parser implementation of the output parser interface. So let's have that. So bean output parser and it is a parameterized uh, class. So what is the format in which we want the answer to be? So that would be your Nobel Prize winner. And uh, let's call this as parser and the new bean output parser. And let's pass the dot class of this one. So remember in the prompt that we had created, we had placed this format as well. So we need to replace this format now. How do we do that? Well, just provide the key which is format and then we will extract the format from the parser. So parser dot get format. Now what we need to do is we can call chat client dot call. We can pass the prompt and we can get the result from this. And from the result we can get the output and we can get the content so let's extract and keep it somewhere so we have the content and from the content we want to parse it so let's call parser dot parse pass the content and then return now we need to implement this particular pojo where we can contain this information so let's do that let's go to the model Let's create a class. Let's call this as Nobel Prize winner. And we can create a record because we don't need anything fancy. So just have a record. And here are the different things that record needs to contain. So the first thing is the name. Second thing is the category. Third thing is the year. Then the fourth thing is awarded for and the final thing is uses. Now let's go back to the Nobel Prize winner controller and add the import for this Pojo that we have created. Now everything is looking fine. Let's run the application and check its output. So let's run it in debug mode. So application has started. Now let's go to Postman and see the output. So here we have the API which is V1 API Nobel and the category that I have chosen is physics and the year is 2014. Let's hit the endpoint. So here is the output. So the name is of three physicists. The category is physics. Here is 2014. And it was awarded for the invention of blue light emitting diodes. These are the practical benefits which is benefiting us. Now let's switch to some other uh, screen. Maybe biology. And see who was the winner for 1992. Let's hit the endpoint. So these two guys were the winners and it was for medicine. So discoveries concerning the genetic regulation of organ development and programmed cell death. And these are the benefits that we are getting from this discovery. So looks like it's working as expected. So now let's try to debug the flow and see what is happening under the hood. Let's put a few uh, debug points. Let's put one here as well and one here. Our application is already running in the debug mode. Let's hit for this in point one more time. And here we are. So we have the parser created. So let's have a quick look what all is contained in the parser object. One very important component is this JSON schema. So what exactly does it contain? Well, it contains the definition of the schema. Then what is its type? And what are the different properties that we wish to extract? So if you see, these are the same properties that we had defined in the Nobel Prize winner Pojo, right? So effectively we are asking for awarded for category name uses and year. So this is the JSON schema that is part of the parser. So how it is made use of? Let's check that out. So now we have created the prompt template and now it's time to create the message. So now let's check the message. So in the message, we have the text content. Let's check this out. So what has been done internally is this is the prompt question that we had created and this is what has been added by the bean output parser component. So your response should be in JSON format. Do not include any explanations, only provide this compliant JSON response and uh, 
follow this format without any deviation and here is the JSON schema that you need to adhere to. So basically what exactly the bean output parser did for us was it provided this message along with the JSON schema and this JSON schema is based on the POJO that we have defined. So basically it's creating the final prompt which needs to be given to the OpenAI. And once this particular message is constructed, then it's a matter of creating the prompt with that message and then hitting the endpoint API. Now let's check this content which we have received after calling the chat client.call with this prompt. So here is the content. So here is how the content is structured. We have the awarded for, we have the category, we have the names and we have the uses and here. So after we have the JSON string, calling the parser.parse method will help us into converting this JSON string to the object in which we want the output, which is the Nobel Prize winner. So you see, it's a very handy and useful feature in the Spring AI using which you could convert your uh, LLM's output to an object. So of course, you could have done this all manually wherein you could have provided uh, the similar kind of prompt but as you might have noticed by now, it becomes really messy and uh, something which is difficult to maintain as your project grows. So the best idea is to define the model and what all fields you want to capture. And based on the model that you are defining, the JSON schema will be defined by the bean output parser. And using that JSON schema, the final prompt message is created and that is used to make the call to the open AI endpoint. And finally, once we have the JSON string, we call parser.parse method to convert the JSON string to the object and that is the one we are returning here. So this is it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me till last. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I hope this video added some value. If so, please hit that like button and share with your friends. Your honest feedback in the comments is valuable to me. I regularly post informative videos on software engineering and computer science. Don't forget to hit the bell for instant updates. Take care and stay awesome.